This is the Equity Management Academy live trading room. Special update for the E-mini S&P as of May 23rd, 2019. On the report that we published in uh, Seeking Alpha last week, we uh, uh, indicated basically that uh, the average price for this week was 28.51, and that if the market um, basically uh, completes the uh, target that was anticipated of 28.67, uh, which you see here as the mean coming into this week, that it would basically uh, uh, complete this pattern and uh, we will wait to see uh, what the market does uh, after the uh, 2867 target is completed. Um, in that report, uh, we indicated that if the market uh, comes down to the B2 level, there is a 95% probability that the market will revert back to the mean. And in fact, let's take a look and see what the actual action was since the uh, report was published. Um, the uh, market came uh, down, in fact, uh, trading last at 28.24, um, with a low of 28.15.25. Uh, Trading below the uh, average price of 28.51, as indicated in the report, activated the uh, extreme level below the mean of buy one of 28.09. When the price reaches this level of buy one, it represents a high probability mathematically that the price has accomplished the downside swing correction or target and is ready to revert back to test the average price. And as you can see from, uh, from the chart, the, uh, the market pretty much made a mm -hmm. high uh, of uh, 20, uh, 8.69, and uh, came down uh, last night below 28.51 and coming down below the average price activates the bearish trend momentum. To clarify how we use uh, the VCPMI according to the artificial intelligence of the variable changing price momentum indicator or VCPMI is that when the price trades below the average price, it activates a bearish trend momentum. And automatically, this bearish trend momentum activates the target below, um, which is the relative implied volatility one-to-one -one factor of the uh, buy one level of 2809. Mathematically, this level, if activated, has a 90% probability of a reversion to occur. Very much like we did back in uh, around May 14, when the market activated uh, the 13th, 14th, a, a signal, a buy signal here on the chart. And automatically, when that buy signal was activated, it, the, the target, the mean, the average price is activated. For those day traders, um, we want to make you aware that what we use in terms of identifying the signals for day trading is the 15-minute bar. And uh, to uh, uh, basically look at where we are currently, the uh, market today made a low of 28.15 not quite coming down to the anticipated low of 2809. And so it's within a, a bearish trend momentum and uh, uh, the market is either going to come down to 2809, at which point we will look for the uh, signal to be triggered and we do not recommend our trader subscribers to activate their self-directed account until 
the trigger is activated. And, and that is essentially when the price touches this level and then it closes above it for a buy signal. For a sell signal, it's coming down below the uh, level and basically uh, activating the uh, target below. So the structure of the reversion to the means gives you five levels of pivot points. It identifies for you the average price and it gives you two relative implied volatility factors, one to one and two to one, of the extreme above the mean or the extreme below the mean. And so as a self-directed trader, um, what we want to do is buy the highest probabilities that the algorithm identifies for us. And that is essentially when the price either comes down to B1 with a 90% probability or B2 with a 95% probability. Where it is right now, where the market is right now, if the price closes above 28.51, it would be negating this bearishness that we have experienced here overnight and it would activate the bullish trend momentum on a close above it activating the sell one target of 29.05 with a 90 percent probability that if we get activated at this level the price will revert back if not, the price can still go up to the uh, sell two level of 29.47 and activate a 95% probability if the signal is activated. The important thing that you understand is that you have to be patient and wait for the VCPMI artificial intelligence to activate the trigger point, either from sell one or sell two or buy one and buy two. When the price is trading around the average price, we suggest our traders to be neutral and wait for the highest probability to execute this trade. We're referring to the weekly VCPMI data points that identifies for us the swing trend direction of the market. To summarize, the weekly price has come down below the average price of 28.51, activating the buy one level of 28.09 to 27.55. If we close above 20, uh, 28.51, it would negate this bearishness and would turn the trend momentum bullish activating the target above of the cell 1 level of 29.05 to the cell 2 level of 29.47. Are you looking for an automated artificial intelligence trading system? Do you want to analyze commodities and financial markets to determine when to buy and sell? Looking for an indicator to predict future trends in the commodities and financial markets? Welcome to EMA2 Trade Live Signals, our Variable Changing Price Momentum Indicator, VCPMI, is an automated AI trading system developed and tested over a decade. The VCPMI algorithm is based on age-old vortex mathematics combined with Fibonacci wave theory, trend analysis, pivot points, and several other widely accepted financial analytical methods. The VCPMI can help you take emotions out of your trading and rely on simple mathematics to predict future trends in financial markets. This approach will make your trading more effective, consistent, and profitable. VC PMI algorithm. The VC PMI code points and levels are support and resistance levels and behave exactly like any historical supply and demand level. Therefore, the VC PMI code levels are useful as an index tool for both day trading and for selecting and exercising entries and exits for longer term traders. 
Why VCPMI? The VCPMI relies on artificial intelligence to analyze markets and predicts future movements, which seek to determine what a security or commodity is worth at a given point in time. The VCPMI uses technical analysis in the form of mean reversion trading, which seeks to capitalize on extreme changes in the pricing of a particular market based on the assumption that it will revert to its previous state. The VCPMI can be applied to both buying and selling as it allows a trader to profit on unexpected upswings and save when security or commodity is trading at an abnormal level. Visit ema2trade.com for more details.